So we're out camping, hiking, got weight in our back, carrying a kid in our back. It's important to know different ways to move, be able to crawl on the ground, crawl, inverted crawl. We got hand foot crawl, inverted hand foot crawl. And it comes up here. We got tripod transition stuff. You got weight, you got kit. You can come up this way. A lot of people would do this. That's all they know. Oh, we got to get up. We go forward, they're going up the stairs. So we're here. Then you got all the weight in your back. You can make a mistake, you're over. Someone can get hurt. So. Puppy. Puppy! Hey! Hey! What's up, beautiful? What's up? Hey. Y'all yeah, have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so instead of going up forward, which we can sometimes, if we got the strength and everything, mobility, but go backward. We got the weight on our back. Let it help you get up. I'm here. I come up. The weight's back here. And it can help me, you know, if we got weight, it can help rotate up. Then we can do a good tripod transition when you're used, you used to those. I'm here, I got the weight, I control it. Foot anchored, hand anchored. Use my other one, my hand to get under me. Then stand up onto a higher surface, onto a rock or whatever and then go forward. So, we got, we're here, secure grip. The weight is back here, where it's not gonna make me fall over. If I fall this way, less danger, especially if you got a kid on your back. We're here, try to have arms straight down, good physics, better on your joints and ligaments and tendons, legs straight down, but we're gonna come up this is the one that matters. We can come here, then transition into my other hand. So perpendicular to the table and this arm perpendicular to the table, we can come under. And we got support. Stand up and walk off. Or instead of being so close to the edge, we could, and there's a way to get down too. We're here. And then come down, come up, come down, come up, come down. But we're here, and I'll go the way, other way this time. Come up, transition over, get slide a little bit, get away from the edge, then stand up. We're here, perpendicular, perpendicular, the middle leg comes under, then three points of support and we can stand up and safely walk off otherwise we're going like this and this takes more mobility notice here a lot of people can just scooch down like getting on a bed or a couch or something you get on a couch you adjust yourself you move over so someone else can sit down and then you go on. Whereas this way, a lot more hip mobility required. I need shoulder strength. I need hip mobility. Um, you have to work on those three, two things. A precursor to this would be shoulder strength. Hip mobility, because I gotta push myself up with my shoulder here and I gotta be able to bring this up. It's not gonna happen unless I have good hip mobility. I'm here. Get things planted nice and perpendicular. I need room to bring my leg in. I come up with my shoulder and my hip. Notice, bring your hip up. So you have room to clear. And then come step here, then move off. Then you got more risk of falling backwards though. So if you got weight on your back, I recommend this. 
if and only if you got the strength and balance, shoulder strength, hip mobility, then we can do this or the other way. Um, different arm leg, we're here, come up, then make sure things are perpendicular with my shoulder. I still can't get my leg over. I need to bring my hips up to have room for my leg to come through. So we could do then you can get away from the edge and then walk off so that's a good technique for being out in the wilderness hiking camping stuff like that so please be smart and safe